Hey everybody, welcome to Greg Morton Outdoors. I'm Cottage, and today we're going to talk about the Six Moon Designs Swift V Pack. So today we're in the Morton Testing Laboratories, also known as my basement, to talk about the pack that I used for all of 2023. And this is the Six Moon Designs Swift V. So when I purchased this pack, it was listed as a 40 liter, and there's actually two different types. You've got the Swift V, and then you have the Swift X. The difference being is the Swift V is made with Robic Nylon, and the Swift X uses a VS21 fabric, much like the Chicken Tramper uh, packs that I have. So even though I do have a history and working knowledge of the VS21 fabric, I decided to go with the Robic Nylon. I've never used that before, but when you're comparing the setups for how I have my pack done compared to the same thing in VS21, this was actually two ounces lighter. So why did I go with the Swift V? Well, this year I wanted to go with a smaller size pack. My Chicken Tramper that I used is actually more like a 58 liter pack um, when you, you know, count my torso size. And I wanted something that was going to be smaller that uh, I could kind of push, you know, going into an ultralight category with uh, the pack and, and everything that I was taking with me. So first of all, let me say I'm not sponsored by Six Moon Designs. Uh, I love their products. Their uh, Lunar Solo tent I used on the Colorado Trail this year, on the Appalachian Trail last year, and just hiking around Colorado in general. I love that tent. Absolutely. I think for the cost to weight ratio, you cannot find a better one person tent. Uh, that's not going to run you, you know, $600. So as I was researching, you know, smaller 40 liter size packs, that's when I came across the Swift V. And I thought, hmm, let's give it a shot. So what attracted me to the Swift V in the first place? Number one, outside of its size, was how customizable it was. And I thought, you know, this would be the perfect pack to use to go from a framed pack with a hip belt into frameless without a hip belt. And I figured this would be the way to go. So how is it customizable? Well, first thing right off the bat is you have three different types of straps that you can use with this. And uh, they've got just your regular straps. They have S straps for people with bigger shoulders, bigger chests. And then they've got one that's like a running vest, which is what I've got here. So why I chose the vest? Well, each side has a water bottle pocket here or, or large pocket with a bungee cord uh, drawstring. It's got a mesh pocket on the outside, and each side has a zippered pocket as well. And there's also a little plastic D-ring here in case you need to tie something off or clip something off to it. Uh, that was one of the reasons. Another reason why was this, unlike regular straps, actually has three points of attachment on each side to the pack. So... You've got your, your low lifters up top here. You've got a strap on the side. And then you've got, let me flip the belt out of the way, at the bottom where you adjust. Well, I thought this would be, you know, something fantastic in the fact that it would fit closer to your body and just be a little bit more comfortable pack overall, especially if you're moving quickly or maybe if you had some bouldering that you had to do, uh, this would be a little bit more stable platform. And also, you know, if you were out in high winds, said your pack getting thrown around, that it would be really, you could snug it down tight to your body where that wouldn't come into play. And I especially figured being on the Colorado Trail this year, uh, 
you know, <laughs> I'm not a stranger to the place. So you get high winds here, especially up at altitude, you get very high winds. And I know having a large pack or a bulky pack in those winds can be hazardous. Plus there's several trails um, going through the Colorado Trail, uh, several passes that you'll go over that are extremely rocky. Uh, you might do some scrambling. There's no like real designated trail. Uh, it's somewhat of a trail. So, you know, I thought it would be better performance overall to have this vest. So all three of these types of uh, shoulder straps, they come in uh, two different sizes, like a small, medium, then a large, extra large. I think that's what it is. Uh, if not, I'll correct it below. The other thing is you've got the hip belts here and you can go like small, medium, large, extra large with those as well. Um, so in that fact right there, you can really tweak it to fit your body. Now, another important thing is you've got four different adjustment channels that you can fit the straps into. So somebody like six foot one, like myself, it fits me fine. It can fit somebody taller than me and it can fit somebody shorter than me as well. So it's very customizable on that fact that if uh, say somebody wanted to borrow your pack, okay not a problem but you know i'm six foot one this guy over here is five foot ten we can tweak this pack to make it fit him now the frame of it is called a delrin hoop stay and it's really interesting the way it's it's put together and it's kind of shaped like a well like a light bulb where it's round and comes down thin and it's got its own pocket here that it fits into on the pack and i'll show you what it looks like so that's it right there. Uh, it's basically, it's a big cable is what it is. Uh, the other thing I liked about it is a lot of packs, their frames stop at like where the hip belt is. This one actually extends below the hip belt level to even transfer more of that weight down into the hip belt. Really like that. Uh, anybody who's done like a lot of long distance hiking, you know, uh, you know, it can really wear and tear on your shoulders. So the more weight you can put on your hips, probably the better off you're going to be in the long run. And like I said, this being customizable, you can easily remove that Delrin hoop stay out of there and turn this to a frameless back. Uh, let's see other features. It originally came with this cordage here on the sides. Uh, I didn't like that. I like putting a shock cord. So I simply just swapped that out. The other thing is along the front pocket, uh, it had like the loops where I could put it in, but I added this shock cord as well. So this way, if you have something you uh, want to dry off while you're hiking, you can stuff it in the shock cord here and just, you know, continue to walk and it'll dry as, as you're hiking along. The, uh, the side pockets here, the water bottle pockets in the front pocket here are pouch. It's made out of what's called ultra mesh. So it's a little, it's stiff, honestly. It stretches a little bit, but not the same as like a regular, uh, you know, mesh pocket. Uh, let's see, what else can we talk about? Uh, one thing I like too is the, the hip belt pockets. Open, shut, very easily, one hand, uh, not a lot of problems with that. You can get to your water bottle easy if you need to. So, I mean, a lot of, a lot of good features on it like that. So, talking about this being adjustable, uh, what they gave you with this pack also is what they call a adjustment tool. And it's a stiff piece of plastic, but both the hip belt and the shoulder straps connect to the pack using Velcro. And this makes it a lot easier. You just push it down in there to separate the, uh, the two portions of the Velcro and you can pull your straps out. And to put it back in, see if I can do this without looking too stupid. 
That's impossible. So you can see how the straps are here. And there's a little pocket up the top. And you insert the, the tip of the tool in. Find where you want it on your pack. Press it down in. Of course, you can't see that. But press it back down in. And then pull your adjustment tool out. Press it into place. And there you go. So all of this comes to about 36 ounces in this configuration. Uh, I'm going to put some more of the other specs down below here. All right, there you go. Now, I just want to say that this pack is water resistant. I did, had, did have it out in the rain, and it did a very good job as far as not letting water on the inside. Um, so it's not a waterproof pack. You do need to use a pack liner with this. All right, by now you're probably saying, Cottage, get to the point. What do you think about this? Um, once again, I'm a Six Moon Designs fanboy. I'll admit that. But on a scale of 1 to 10, I give this pack a 4.5. <laughs> so right now you're saying, you know, holy shit, what didn't you like about it? Well, let me go through it one by one. First off, this thing has more straps on it. It makes you feel like you're in some sort of Dominatrix's basement every time you put it on. I'm not kidding. So the chest strap. It's got two straps here. You got all these straps here with the vest, your adjustment strap, your hip belt strap on each side has two points of adjustment. And then, of course, you got your load lifters. So and with this as well is you can close it by either rolling it down. And clipping it off like that or. You can have it clipped off to the side using straps. So here's more straps. Uh, that can be frustrating. And also, I forgot to mention, there's a Y strap that goes over top. So like I said, this thing is strap galore. It's got uh, probably a bunch of unnecessary stuff. And let's look at this here. All right, you got the roll top. And then you can, can secure it to the side. Guys, pick one or the other. Okay? Either have it secure down to the side or just roll close like that. One or the other. You know what? It's not going to be a freaking deal breaker. Trust me. We're okay with that. And it's not going to change the volume of the pack either. So, like I said, when this was sold, initially when I bought it, it was listed as a 40 liter pack. That's not including the storage on the outside, just the inside. Well, this portion from the stitching on up is considered like bonus room. So that's an additional 10 liters. So in all actuality, this is a 50 liter pack is what it is. Uh, but either if you roll it on the top or if you secure it off to the sides, you're not going to change the volume of the pack. So you know what, guys? Six Moon Designs, pick one or the other. And the other thing is, and this is pure laziness too, and I don't like this. So you see, there's three different clips on the top. One, so you could do the roll top closure. And these two are so you can attach it down to the side. So that means they only made one type of these straps on the side with a adjust it here come on with what they call the male portion of the clip and that probably didn't zoom in but that's all right so basically they only made one type of these instead of one with a female and one with a male so you only needed to have one of these on the top all right, to me, that's laziness. So make some straps here, one with males, one with females. Get rid of the extra clip on the top. 
okay? One or the other, guys. And while we're on the, the top of it, the Y-strap. So the Y-strap, either you can connect it to the pack itself or to the front pocket. Why? All right, you don't need that. Again, pick one or the other. If you have it attached to, uh, have it attached to the pack or to the pocket, one or the other, it's not a deal breaker with your pack. All right, this is just crap that doesn't need to be on there. So let's talk about the vest itself. The, the pocket on the front here for your water bottle, I uh, don't think you're going to use a 750 milliliter smart water bottle or hard plastic one like that in here. It's going to press against your chest and it's going to hurt. What I ended up doing was, this is by a Hydro Flask, it's one of those runner bottles, soft side. Uh, and actually I'm glad I found this because this is my go-to now that I use for water on, that's going to be on my shoulder strap because instead of having to pull it out I can just tilt my head to the side and drink so that was a, a nice thing to end up finding uh, because of this but the vest itself you know the website you know I watched a video and the guy's name is all good all good said that people with larger chests shouldn't necessarily get this uh, I didn't think that was me I didn't think I was a large chest guy but I guess I am uh, but my question is to six moon designs if you don't think with people with larger chests should get this then why do you sell this vest in a large size anyway so the vest uh, the vest I found to be kind of constricting so in order for this to fit nice and snug you have to kind of tighten it up across your chest straps here I found especially on the Colorado Trail that it felt like my chest was being constricted and I couldn't really breathe as deeply as I wanted to so when I loosened up those chest straps now the shoulder straps started migrating to the sides of my shoulders causing a lot of pain I could not find a really happy medium with these shoulder straps they just did not work for me uh, I do like all the pockets that are on here that was very convenient especially for putting snacks or additional camera batteries things like that uh, and you know one side I have my cell phone in and the other side or my camera in and the other side I have my water bottle in so that uh, that worked out very nice but the chest strap itself didn't like the way it fit the other thing that I did not like was how you adjusted your chest strap so this vest unlike the normal one normal chest where your adjustments are up here these or down low on the pack well that's all fine and dandy except another thing that's down low on the pack is another strap for your hip belt so there's your adjustment belt for your hip for your hip belt there's your adjustment for your chest straps or your shoulder straps so before I tape this up this one up they were both basically the same size so I would reach down and inevitably one hand would grab for my shoulder straps and the other hand would grab for my belt and when I went to adjust I ended up doing something like that so I had to tape this up and get it out of the way in all actuality you probably don't need this for your hip belt you probably don't need this adjustment strap or anything it's it's really it's not doing anything uh, I don't know maybe it is the designers were obviously smarter than me on this but anyway that was something weird reaching down and pulling versus just snugging it up here uh, the one good thing about this is when you do adjust it with the vest on 
it kind of raises the pack up as well as pulls it into you. Uh, so that was kind of neat as well. But uh, yeah, just adjusting your straps, pain in the ass. And if you're like me, every time I take my pack off, I let out my shoulder straps, um, not really my chest straps or my load lifters, but definitely my hip belt as well. Which let's talk about the hip belt. So like I said, two points of adjustment on each side. And that's kind of cool in the fact that, you know, everybody is shaped differently. So maybe your hip belt is going to look like this. Or maybe it's like this on you, depending on how your body is shaped. You know, if you got some love handles, you can admit it. Um, if you got a little bit of a beer belly, you can admit it. Maybe that's better for adjusting to your body size. But the fact that you got four straps that you have to contend with. And the other thing too is the way they're kept in there is you have these little plastic retainers here to tuck away your extra part of your strap into. These things would constantly pop out of the retainers, the straps. So when you're fiddling around, fiddling around looking down with your belt and trying to get these in, it's a bit of a pain in the butt. If you just had like a, a round piece of elastic that you could tuck it under, it would have worked a lot better than these, these rubber pieces here, plastic pieces. Um, get rid of them. In fact, your hip belt all together, you can still have two points of adjustment on the side that lead into one strap. And I'll show you a pack that does that. So this is the uh, Flex Capacitor by Six Moon Designs. I've had this thing for years. This is a first generation. I think they're on like third generation. Uh, this is actually the Skirka series. But here you can see the hip belt. All right, two points of adjustment on the sides. Leads into your, your buckle, but only one strap to contend with. So you can still adjust it for your body, but only have to deal with one strap on each side instead of two. Okay, you finally went through the Dominatrix Showdown, and you got your pack on you, and you're ready to go, and you're ready to go hike. Uh, one thing, well, the thing I didn't like about this in this aspect is it never felt stable. So if you look at the pack... This portion right here, which is, is padded, is raised above the rest of it. The only thing that's coming in contact, not only, but the main thing that's coming in contact with your back is this right here. Is this one strip going down. And it's unstable in that sense. It's not fitting flat across your back or having several points that come in contact with your back to make it feel stable. It's just this one strip running down your spine. So to see what I'm talking about, I mean, we'll go back and we'll look at the, the flex capacitor here. So you'll see it's got two points of contact up here, as well as one on the, you know, down on your lumbar. Uh, so there's a nice stable feeling with this pack here. That, like I said, with the other one, that one portion going down there, it, it feels wobbly. So it never felt like it was riding right when I was carrying it. It uh, just felt uncomfortable. And I was constantly felt like I had to tweak the shoulder straps to get it where it was right. And uh, I don't know, it just never really worked out for me. So the ultra stretch, ultra mesh fabric that was used for the, uh, the pockets on the outside. Uh, great job with the uh, the water bottle pockets on the side. No issues whatsoever. But the fact that this really doesn't stretch when it comes to your main pocket here on the front makes this almost worthless. So when you have your pack filled and you go to put something in the outside or you already have something in the outside and you go to retrieve it, it was a total pain in the ass 
to get into it. You had to like work your hand down in there, grab what you needed and pull it back out or to stuff something in there, it was very difficult. Uh, it does not have the flexibility of a regular mesh pocket. And I know they were going for durability on this, but you know, honestly, this ain't, this ain't getting it done. This is, uh, this almost makes this pocket out here just worthless. So this is a Granite Gear Lutzen 35, and you see the mesh on this. See how stretchy it is? You know, that's kind of what you want on an outer pocket. Now, I did see another company uh, using this ultra mesh, ultra stretch, whatever it is, on their front pocket. And the way they got around the lack of flex is they put pleats on the bottom of it. So it was able to expand out more as your pack got filled. The way it is right now in its current configuration, uh, I mean, I was able to carry like my rain jacket in there and then like my little ultra pod, you know, for my camera. And that was about it. Uh, you know, I might be able to stuff some trash in there during the day, but really it was useless. So there we go. Uh, there's all the reasons why I gave it a 4.5. Um, I haven't given up on the pack yet. So, I asked Mrs. Outdoors, a.k.a. Tetris, that's her trail name, I asked her uh, for Christmas to get me a set of the S-straps, because I've got a bigger chest, evidently, a set of S-straps for this pack to see if it makes a difference. Uh, Six Moon Designs was having a good sale uh, earlier in the year. So, you know, they were like 30 bucks. So you save like 25 bucks on them. So I said, honey, why don't you grab a pair of those, throw it under the tree for me, and we'll be good. I don't want to write this pack off yet. I still think it has potential, especially to be a frameless pack. We'll see. Fingers crossed. There you go. That's my review of the Swift V, you know, a few days out from Christmas. Hope you enjoy it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I put out new videos. All right, folks. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas. We'll talk to you soon.